Hello everyone. Uh, today's lesson is about a C, C program, uh, which will actually reverse a set of numbers using a recursive function. Actually, the program in the program I will show you how to use a recur recursive function. Use the uh, system stack to print the number in the forward order and in the backward order. I will show you the both. <coughs> So for this, I am taking, creating one file, recurse.cpp. So, in this file, <coughs> we will write the program using a function, recursive function. First we will declare the header file. <coughs> then we will declare the main function. <coughs> And the uh, function we will use, let it uh, name it print num underscore num. Uh, we will pass an integer value to it. Then we will print num suppose 10. Now this is the main function. Now our function declares default definition in 10. Now this condition of this recursive function is that if n goes less than 1, then it will return. then I will call print num n minus 1 then print f person d comma n so see uh, what I am actually doing um, when the function is invoked for the first time the value of n is equal to 10. So it checks the condition, it's false. Then in, it again invokes the function, it calls itself, but it does not reach the printf. It calls itself, it again goes to this void print num. Again goes into it with the value 9. Again comes here, the condition does not satisfy. Again it calls with the value 8 again with 7, again with 6. So it goes recursively inside and all the and this printf statement is actually it actually goes into the stack. Now what happens when the last statement when the value of n is 2 I mean value of n is 1. So what happens 1 minus 1 0, 0 comes here this condition satisfies it returns. So it returns from here. It comes here. So what is the value? So what is the first value which has been entered into the stack? I mean what is the last value? The last value is uh, obviously 1 because when it is returning it is returning with the n value of n equal to 0 then when it is returning it is returning to its previous call where the value of n is 1 then it returns it goes to the printf statement so it prints 1 again it now it goes on returning to its previous call to its, actually it is popping from the stack popping the pre 
actually what happens in a recursive function or in any function when a function is invoked from where it is invoked that point is stored into the stack so when it returns from the function the address of that portion location is popped from the stack and it goes to its that location from where it is invoked so it is invoked from here when it returns now this is the first return statement you have to write it here with the condition but then after printing printf it returns the value of n is 1 it returns again returns where return to the this line this is a bit of complicated if you think it's complicated but it's simple it returns because it is called from here it returns here what is the its previous value when it is invoked it is n equal to 2 so n equal to 2 2 is printed it again returns it is 3 minus 1 which is invoked where the n value of n is 2 so 3 minus 1 so n is 3 so 3 is printed so this is how the reverse we printed we called with a value 10 we went on decreasing the value but here the printing order is from 1 to 10 not from 10 to 1 but what happens if I let us comment this one what happens if I put this one it's very simple it will print in just decreasing order because I am printing it before and then I am invoking the print num function so it's go on inside decree with decreasing decrease value but still but still what happens before it prints the number before so first 10 is printed then it is invoked with the value 9 then 9 is printed so 10 9 8 7 till up till 1 so I what I'm doing I let's uh, do one thing let's do let's make it print num ref reverse print num ref open this one delete this one now this is uh, in the same order as it is now we, what we will do we will print both of them so I have to declare one prototype for this one so let us do one thing uh, we just uh, print a new line here so that we don't get confused with the series of numbers um, yeah, ok just a moment so n is missing in printf now it's ok it's done so I've compiled it and save it yes just look into this first one is in reverse order second one is in increasing order first, I mean first one is in the normal order the second one is in reverse order so you can see here I have in the ref I have put the printf uh, after the in function function is invoked and in normal I have put the printf before print underscore num so this what's happened the first which is invoked first if print num is invoked while it is it will normally be 10 9 7 8 like that and in then I have print, given the rep one it's a real confusing because uh, uh, reverse uh, you will say that uh, 10 9 8 that is the actual reverse but see I have given print num 10 so I am starting from 10 to coming to 1 
so that will be the normal order and from it, it if it goes from 1 to 10 that is be the reverse order it is uh, upon how you take it uh, and this is my method but what i actually want to um, say you that i am invoking n minus 1 i am invoking in a decreasing order passing value in a decreasing order from 10 to 1 and but still it should print uh, 10 from 10 to 1 but i in this case i am printing from 1 to 10 here so this is how recursive function works so that's all about this tutorial thank you